what you want to do is start with your starting point and set up the, the actual table. So in this one, this is question 9D from 14D. Um, and they're saying that we want to start at S and then finish at F over here. So we put our starting point here and then every other point goes along here. So easiest just to go alphabetical order. And then like that. And the weird thing is our finishing point, obviously F to finish is gonna be in the middle. Um, they won't normally do that in questions. This one's a bit more specific. So what you do first is you look at your options starting from S. So you can either go to A or you can go to C. So under A, you'll put the distance, which is three. And then to C it's four. And then it's not linked to anything else. So then you just put crosses against all of those. Or you can leave them blank, but it's probably best to just put them there as a placeholder. And then out of your numbers in the row, you box the smallest one, which is obviously three, and that lines up with A. So that tells you where the next point is gonna be and the next point goes down here. So anything that's already boxed, you have to copy it down. Um, a trick though, is you can also just draw a line just to block it as well. It's up to you which way you wanna do it. Uh, and then from A, you go back to the, the network and you look at your options from there. So we can go to E, which will take seven. Um, so if we go to E, the trick is that you don't write seven, you actually add seven to whatever the last number was that you just came from. So because we're coming off the back of three, we're gonna add seven to it and under E, we're gonna put 10. And then compared to B, which takes two, it's gonna be three plus two. So under B, that's gonna be five. And then uh, from there, there's, no other options that we can go to. So because we've already written a four, um, the four comes down as well. And then everything else is still crosses. So crosses, once there's a number in a crossed row, uh, sorry, column, um, you shouldn't have crosses anymore in that, in that column beyond that point. So if there's already a number, just copy it down. Um, so in this case, now our lowest number is four, which is actually gonna jump us over to C. And then again, copy down anything that's already boxed. And now we're gonna go over to C. And so from C, um, we can go to B or we can go to D. So to go to B, that's two. So four plus two would be six. And instead of writing six, we would normally write six, but because we've already got five, which is lower, five beats it and we do that. So it's, it's like a little game where they verse each other almost, and you're always looking for the lowest number that you've already gotten previously. If instead it came out to be like zero, then it would be four plus zero, which is four. And in that case, four is lower than five. We would write the four. Um, so anyway, so from C, then C to D, we've got eight. So again, we're coming off four, not three. So four plus eight is gonna be 12 and then from C, you can't go anywhere else. So again, we look at what's left, we bring down the 10, and then just bring down the crosses like that. And literally just keep repeating. So I'll do the full thing. Um, now our lowest point is five, which lines up with B. So that's our next point. Copy down all the boxes. And that's where that line can probably save you a bit of time. Um, and so then from B, where are we here? So we can go to E from there, which is six. So it would be five plus six, which is 11, but 10 beats it. So we'll write down the 10 instead. Uh, and then from B, we can go to H, which is nine. So five plus nine is 14. So there's only been X's, so we can put the 14 there. And then from B, we can go backwards to C. That'll never really happen. We can prove it though. So B to C would be two. So five plus seven would be two, oh, sorry, seven. Five plus two would be seven. Um, and we've already got a four there, so it's already blocked. So there's no other options. So the 12 comes down, the crosses come down, and then we're gonna keep going. So now our lowest point is 10, which lines up with E, that's our next point. So three, five, it's always good to get those out of the way first. And then from E, we can go to G, which is five. So um, 10 plus five is 15. And then from E, we can't really go anywhere else but backwards. So 12 cross 14. Now our lowest point is 12, which is D. 
And so from D at 12, we're down here now. So it's going to kind of be bouncing backwards and forwards, but in the end you'll get a like a single path. So from D, we can only go to H, which is 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16. 14 beats it, so that comes down. And there's nowhere else to go from D but backwards. So the 15 comes down, the cross comes down. Our next best option is 14, which is H. And so from H, copy all the boxed ones. And then from there, from H, we can go to F, which is 6. So 14 plus 6 is 20, um, like that. Or we can go up to G, which would be 14 plus 2, which is going to be 16, but the 15 beats it. So then our best option is 15, which is G. So G will come down. And then from G, obviously there's only only way it is to go to F, which is four. And so we're at 15. So 15 plus four is 19, which beats 20. And that's the end right there. So now that we've filled out the table, the way to know what the pathway is, is you start at the number that you ended on, which is that one there. And technically what you do is you go up until the first time that it was written in that column. But because obviously it hasn't been written, then what we do is we go to the uh, highest number in the in the row because now we're going backwards. So rather than it being the lowest, it's actually going to be the highest number each time, um, which is the 15. And then you follow that up to the first time it was written, which is there. And then that lines up with E. That's in row E. So then you go across until you hit E like that. And then that will, you go up until you get the first time you wrote the 10, which is there, which is in row A. So you go across until you hit A, which is here, column A. And then you go up until the first time it was written, and then you come out at the start. And the quickest way to actually identify the order of the sequence is obviously start with S. And every time you see a corner, it'll line up, just use these. So there's a corner there, which lines up with A. The next corner as you go left to right is at E, and the next corner is at G, and then the last corner uh, is, well, it goes across to F like that. So it went from here to here, to here, to here, back to there. So that's S, A, E, G, F, and that's going to be the shortest path, and the distance is the number that it ended on. So it's 19 minutes or hours in that question, I can't remember like that.